ever come outside and just kind of look at your convertible and say, hmm, you know, I have all this green stuff on my convertible top and I'm kind of scared to, to get it off, you know, because I don't want to damage the top. But what can I do to fix this? Because it really looks terrible and I take such good care of my car. Well, we're gonna fix that today. Now, this is the damage here. You can see that I live very close to the ocean. So we have a lot of humidity and you see all this green stuff in my, in my top here. That's mold or algae. You can't just let that go because it's gonna keep eating into the fabric. Now, this is a fabric top, but you can do this cleaning technique that I'm gonna teach you today on a fabric or a vinyl top. So let's take a look at this vinyl top. Uh, this is off of a uh, E46 BMW. Um, that's the BMW right there. So I sold the engine, I used the front clip for that BMW over there uh, that was wrecked, it was a newer BMW. I made a trailer out of the back of the BMW to take the car shows with me. And now I have this beautiful top with nice glass in it and defrost, but I don't wanna just junk it, but someone could use this but no one wants a top with green mold on it. So let's get right into it. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to take some kind of watering device and spray the da hood down really well. Once you spray the hood down really well, I'm just gonna let it sit there for a couple of seconds. Then, I took this product here called Simple Green and I just kind of sprayed all over. Now usually I use Purple Power for all my degreasing stuff and um, how to clean stuff, but it's a little abrasive. Now I do use it on my metal parts and um, my suspension parts, but I would never put it on cloth. This Simple Green um, is a very good cleaner. It will eat this stuff off. I wouldn't leave it on for more than 10 minutes. And just kind of spray it around. Even if there's no green, I still spray it because there is dirt. I want it all to come out the same color, you know? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes. And then we're gonna take a brush, something with some um, easy uh, teeth on it. So not too abrasive and we're just gonna scrub that down. Now you are not pressing hard when you scrub down, you are just letting it slide. Now, don't be that person that wants to hurry up and scrub everything down, I gotta get all this out in like 15 minutes, I gotta go to the car show. The more abrasive you are on, on this carpet or this cloth, the more damage you could do. So we're gonna go very easy, scrub it down, and then rinse it off. And if there's some more on there, we're gonna repeat the process again. I would say normally this would take about two processes, but this one is kind of deep. It's been sitting here for two months uh, for sale. I got a customer, it's coming to look at it right now. So I want it to look new for that customer. And I wanna you know, show that I take pride in the things that I'm selling. So, we're going to wait 10 more minutes. We're going to come back. I'm going to put the camera on the stand and you can watch me actually do some work and scrub this thing. So let's fast forward.
All right, so there's number one. Wow, you can see just all the algae that's in here that came off this little scrub brush. And I didn't scrub too hard. And that clock says five minutes. Uh, I am gonna put that at four times so it only looks like I'm scrubbing it for a minute. But let's go ahead and um, uh, take it off. Now, if you noticed right here, I did not clean this last triangle because I wanna show you the difference. There's the first wash down. So we're gonna go ahead and give this about 20 minutes to dry a little bit. It's not very sunny outside. You don't want to do this in direct sunlight. So today an overcast or a rainy day, it's gonna rain in a little bit. It's probably the best time to work on this because you don't want to get the chemicals dry and saturated inside the roof and then it's hard or the top and then it's so hard to get out. So do it on a nice, weather day like this or in some shade so after just one wash easy i didn't press hard at all barely any green little spots left but remember how bad this was look at the difference in that wow where i didn't scrub and where I did scrub. It's like a perfect line right there. I mean, I could see it. Even like, look how green it is here and then black there, you know? So let's hit it again. Gotta be perfect. So here we are with um, clean number two and it looks like a brand new roof again. It looks like a brand new top. There's no green, nothing down in this. If you need to get down in this, a trick that I use is a soft brussel toothbrush. You don't want to try to force that big brush down in here because then you're pressing too hard. Get a soft brussel toothbrush and go in all these lines, you know, just easy, 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 and it'll come out perfect. Looks beautiful and this is how to clean your convertible top you don't need all those fancy uh you don't need all that fancy stuff to clean your top i mean i just showed you how to clean it with simple green the top looks beautiful beautiful and i'm doing it with regular household appliances so the simple green was what maybe five bucks for a squirt bottle and people are selling these convertible top cleaners for like 20, 25 bucks. And you saw how green mine was from sitting out in the, uh, in the weather for two months, just after two months, you know, of not moving it and not cleaning it. And that's all I did. And the top looks brand new again. So if you wanna learn these kind of uh, tips and tricks, whatever, save yourself money, clean all your own stuff, give yourself some, confidence and uh if this was on my car i'd probably be taking it out right now showing it off you know so hit us up with a like subscribe um Sturman creations man i'm gonna help you out and we're gonna teach you everything all right we love y'all i'm out